Yikes. The Corolla is still burning about a quart every 500 and some miles or so. So before we go any further with the oil burning experiments, let's do a compression test. Let's start by unplugging the electronic fuel injection fuse right there that says EFI or heater. And I think that's the EFI and heater relay, but we're just gonna unplug that 15 amp fuse right there. 10 amp. 15 amps, so that one right there. There's a fuse puller right here. I'm gonna have to get out some pliers. There we go. Put this somewhere safe. Now we're gonna take our coil packs off. And I think I need to take this little rail off here. Now we'll unplug the electrical connections. Probably should have done this first. Take the spark plugs out. If anybody wants a good look at these, these are the order they came out, left to right. And they all look about the same. I'm gonna clean those up before I put them back in. All right, here is the compression test kit that I haven't used in probably almost 20 years. So the way it works, if you don't know, this side goes in the spark plug hole. This gasket here, that O-ring seals for a 5 8 type spark plug. And this one right here seals for a 13 16 maybe. Somebody can correct me in the comments. So anyways, you screw that into where the spark plug would go. And then it has a quick connect right here. And there we go. Snap that in place. And then when you crank the engine over, this holds the reading so it'll pump up with each stroke of the piston it'll get, go up and it'll stay at its highest point hopefully unless something's malfunctioning then after we see what it is we press this button and release the pressure and it goes back to zero just hand tight and snap on connection there we go now I'm going to go crank the engine, not crank it, you know, turn it over, and let y'all watch the gauge. So it looks like on cylinder number one here, we got 230 PSI. We'll release the pressure first. Take that off. That's not looking good. I'm gonna turn that over one more time. Looks like we've got right around 80 on cylinder number two. Yikes. All right, let's do cylinder number three. So we got about 165 
on cylinder number three. And we got better than 240, almost 250 on cylinder number four. So it looks like cylinder number one and cylinder number four are really good. Cylinder number two is horrible. Cylinder number three is iffy. All right, before we end this video, let's do a compression test while the engine is warm. We're at 240 on cylinder number one, hot. Look at that. Now cylinder number two is at 240, and cylinder number two, when cold, was what, 80 PSI? Wow, wow. Let's try the next one. Cylinder number three is at between 250 and 255, I think. Oh, it's hard to tell. Let's do cylinder number four. All right, cylinder number four is just over 240. So what does it mean when your engine is at operating temperature and all your cylinder compression is balanced but yet when it's cold you have two really low cylinders i was going to do a wet compression test so you add like a tablespoon of oil and that if it's a piston ring problem that will create a temporary seal around the ring or in the bore and the compression should come up and if it doesn't come up then you know it's a valve problem or a head problem or maybe another problem you can comment if you know of another problem that would cause that but we now know it's not a problem in the head because when the cylinders are warmed up I'm assuming the pistons swell they're aluminum they swell and the compression gets better and maybe since it was just driven the cylinder walls are coated with oil wait for this plane to pass so while the engine is warm and has just been run the cylinder walls are coated with oil and the pistons have expanded to their largest diameter and they make a better seal so while the engine is warm we have great compression i'm no mechanic and maybe some of you guys can comment what all this is really telling us about this engine but i am assuming we can narrow it down to the rings by this and that when the engine cools the ring is re-sticking in the piston or it has nothing to do with the ring sticking and not sticking in the piston the the piston rings are probably per pretty much permanently stuck right now in cylinders number two and three at least number two but when the engine is warm the diameter of the piston itself is enlarging enough to create a good seal and it really doesn't have much to do with the piston ring or as obviously the piston swells it's going to push the rings out even more so that could be another factor i guess there could be all sorts of variables but ultimately to me it looks like it is definitely a piston ring problem in cylinder number two and probably cylinder number three it looks like numbers one and four are uh okay but so right now i'm in the middle of a marvel mystery oil test i have about a thousand miles to go which i should do in the next week because i'm going to south florida and back and then after that i'm going to do a motor flush video if the marvel mystery oil does not clear up the compression problem or the piston ring problem we're going to do the motor flush and if that doesn't work we might try another chemical maybe you have some more suggestions but we might be able to just see if we can come up with something to add to cylinder numbers 
two and three that could soak in that single cylinder we could like focus our efforts into dissolving the crud around the rings in that single cylinder the carbon the gunk whatever it is that makes these rings stick maybe we could find something we can pour in there and let it soak do it a few times do it hot cold whatever i don't know please add your suggestions to the comments and see if we can get cylinder number two's rings unstuck if it is the rings let me know again in the comments what y'all think is it the rings can we get them unstuck without taking it apart and re-ringing it for anyone who's interested here are the spark plugs again in the order one two three four after they were cleaned the last time and now run and pulled out hot You're going to see me putting all this stuff back together probably in a time lapse. And also if you hang around till the end, I'm going to check out the PCV valve and see if it is clogged up. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching.